less women um, the Air Force deployed into Afghanistan. So where our question was just simply, could you guys all just say hi, Papa? Hi, hi Papa. How are you doing? a web series I co-created with Felicia Day. It's on her Geek and Sundry YouTube channel, and it's a show where we play tabletop board games with uh, actors and writers and artists and musicians and people that we know. It's like dinner for five beats celebrity poker uh, with board games. And we want games, we want to play, we want to play. Well, then you should come be on the second season, Marina. Uh, We want games that are gateway games that people can play that are uh, that are easy to learn, that have a lot of luck, that have a lot of strategy, um, so that we can show people that board gaming is an awesome a hobby, that it's a really terrific family activity. And yeah, that's okay. what we're doing. Um, yeah, and, that's, and so anyway, that, that's how we do it. We're, we're not sponsored by game companies. We don't do anything like that. I play the hell out of every game that I can get my hands on, and if I really like it, then it gets on the show. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lewis. This question's for uh, Michael Dorn. Yeah. Did you really drink Romulan ale? <laughs> uh, no, I did not. <laughs> no, I did not. Um, it was, it was, uh, you're talking about in the last movie? Yes. No, no, that was, that was um, a scene in a movie. And, uh, <laughs> they actually make it, it so was I didn't know they were actually No, I know. No, it was a tail end of drinking that, but no, I, I, I don't even know what it tastes like. I don't know what you know, just tastes like. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. 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 What's your question? Okay, I have a crazy question that a fan asked me. 
Um, I, I was asked by a fan at a convention, why is it that all the guest stars on Star Trek are humanoid, or the guest aliens, I should say, are humanoid in shape? <laughs> Think about it. To which I responded, well, of course, when we start auditioning actors who aren't humanoid in shape, that will change. <laughs> that we were able to do with, uh, with, with the budget and the time that we had, uh, just doing makeup on people, and uh, we did not have CGI when we did Next Generation. We don't have the things that you really take for granted these days. And uh, I think that, that Next Gen can claim a little bit of credit for uh, proving that it was possible to do a popular science fiction program with aliens, with all the things that science fiction uh, uh, embodies. Uh, and that lays the groundwork for shows that have come since, not just in the Star Trek universe. Um, and if you, you know, if you watch some of the some of the first run sci-fi shows now that have incredible computer graphics, I mean, I just can't even imagine what we would have been able to do if if we had, if we had had access to that kind of technology. Yeah. Reading Rainbow. Okay. <laughs> 